Oh, silver-tongued Odysseus. There is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction, and that is war. Paris of Troy must pay! King Agamemnon of high-walled Mycenae must avenge this insult to his brother. Troy thinks to slight me, but they will pay the price. You are king of Ithaca and the master of deception. Wise and resourceful, great heroes like Achilles himself will take heed of your counsel. Each of Helen's original suitors must decide whether to honor their oath, calling on them to defend Helen's husband. The wine dark sea lures me from my home. The Teleboans, once obedient to the kings of Ithaca, are now trying their fortune as sea raiders. You need to put an end to their lawless ambitions. Choose your allies wisely, and confront your enemies without fear. Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to a bit of Total War Troy Mythos, where we are going to be playing as the mighty storyteller Odysseus. Uh, obviously, slightly different playstyle now than where it, how it used to be with the Mythos DLC, as all the things which were kind of... Half mythological are now fully mythological. Perfect timing for something to appear in the background. If you just missed that, we had something uh, come up from a sea in the background. Uh, so, yeah. So, I've never played... Well, I've done a quick play for Odysseus in the previous version. So, it'll be interesting to see how the game differs with that. Uh, and, obviously, the map. We've got all these new... I don't think we had all of these massive statues around the map before. Uh, I could be wrong, but, yeah. Uh, but without without further ado, guys, let's get in. So our first thing objective is to destroy uh, any army belonging to the Telebones in battle, which uh, should be a good fun for us to do. I've got to wipe them out to start with. And obviously I am on the Achaean side, so, but my early uh, goal is going to be just taking over, controlling my local area before we start pushing out into the rest of the world and uh, trying to deal with Helen of Troy. Obviously, as Odysseus, I get a few things Odysseus so I can uh, sneak into settlements and things. Oh, and I start with some sirens, which are harpy like in this because that's how the Greeks had them. And this agent, a I well think, blade I could a create war. a self safe haven. So, based in a local settlement, settlement encouraging. Uh, gaining knowledge and support. So, it, it's. it's it's what it says. Uh, but yeah, sorry, just going to try and work I out what to do. So we're going to go straight into this because it's our first battle and we will get straight in Hades. there, guys. Okay. Oh, as always, guys, sorry, I forgot to say at the start. Big thank you to CA for giving me early access to this. And I do hope you enjoy this. And link down below in the description if you are interested in picking it up. Uh... It's a link to it on Humble Bundle, but get it wherever it's cheaper. But if you do get it on that one, it makes it... Well, it helps support the channel for me. Anyway, let's get in and fight, he says, while quick saving like a coward beforehand. <laughs> so, Thestios here. Uh, he's, he's got a small force. He's got some sirens as well. We've got a much bigger force with, with more range. Obviously, Odysseus himself is a ranged character. I'm happy with that. First thing I want to do is take a look at my sirens. Cause they are... They're, they're, they are quite funky looking, actually, yeah? I am quite happy with that. Well, most of my army appears to be able to deploy forward, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm... I think I'm going to stick with my current formation. I'm just going to move you over there. Odysseus a bit further forward. 
And we're going to move up here. All have their own unique okay, I don't need to know about that. We we already know about heroes and their skills. And obviously, get new stuff from the gods as we level up, which I won't be getting next. But we'll look at properly as we get going. But it's it's a lot more than just a a little buff like it used to be. Right, I want to move up there. I want you guys to move up into here. These guys are going to use to flank my, flank my islanders. These guys are my, my more standard infantry. These guys are obviously fast. Well, let's have a look at their stats. So they're nowhere near as good. The melee defense, basically they're, they're not as good. They've got reasonable the damage, however. Um, but these guys are generally better. What's that? They are armor piercing. I'm going to try and use them as flankers effectively, however. Untoggle skirmish mode, please. Death comes from above, like the arrows of Apollo. Have your warriors take cover from the enemy missiles, or else seek That's out fine. and destroy the cause of this threat. I don't need to worry about the missiles, because my, my ranged are shredding their sirens. Obviously, they've got them. I do need to pull back now, however. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Ooh. I can make them berserk. The Interesting. I don't think I needed to, but... As they, flee. Uh, they are hitting my line now and getting shredded. They are berserking, but yeah. Victory my line is, is holding nicely. And they do seem a little bit more solid now. They are already breaking. Fold into them from every angle to break them as quickly as I can. I'm going to move my ranged forwards to, to start hitting their guys. But we are up. Your hero is under attack. Oh no, not my hero. They are. Are they unbreakable or is it just the berserk was keeping them fighting? I want them out as quickly as possible. That. Let's take out their sirens quickly. As the battle progresses, the hero's rage grows. The anger of Ares... So what he's talking about there is, obviously, I get buffs as we go on. So I could use my uh, hero abilities and things, but I don't need to at the moment. Basically, I'm going to let my range finish this off. You guys can slam forwards into here. The warriors are losing heart. Not at all worried about that. We're going to easily clear that. For Ithaca, hit hard. Your time has come. As soon as they break, we are going to start. Uh, ah, there we go. Your warriors are rallying. No, 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 I don't need them off there. They are not breaking, though. No more. There we go. One of your units has no more ammunition. Everybody charge. Oh, his Aristea is going. So disengage, disengage. You do not want to be fighting him while his Aristea is going, because that gives him buffs. Interesting why we've not gained Aristea points, but. If I make him waste that, that's perfect for me. Thestius is just getting his butt kicked here. I don't need to worry. Let's get everybody in. And Odysseus is going to charge in. He is exhausted, but I am not worried. There we go. It is over. So nice, solid, decisive victory. As I expected, my first battle, so we lost 98 for all theirs, which is good. So, kill them, increase the morale. Uh, lives as barter gives me food, which is useful, but I want the replenishment at the moment, because I want to secure my home island as quickly as possible. New recruits can be trained to build up your forces and replace what... Uh, there we go, so we gain some uh, food and some bronze. 
Odysseus of Ithaca. We gain. Ooh, that's not bad. And again, Chalmas. There we go. That looks cool. Hmm. Odysseus of Ithaca. What is the garrison like there? See, they've got a decent Shining enough garrison, Odysseus. actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, possibly want to do a bit of recruitment before I hit it, but. At the same time, these low-level units aren't so useful. Mm. What's my income? I've got plenty of food income at the moment, so yeah, let's get a few more swordsmen in. Sword skirmishes in, and heavy sword skirmishes are my, are my, my sort of centre. You can go in and try and cause sedition. Which failed, but that might still give him XP. I suspect, have we levelled up? Yes. And as we leveled up, as we level up, guys, as you may already know from seeing other people do this, you get to choose one way or the other. Uh, so here we get the ability Cheat Hades, which gives us damage, resistance, and speed, which is quite nice. Or we can take um, this, which gives us increases hit points and lead by example, affects allies in range, melee, or yes, please. I mean, while he's a ranged character, he can sit just behind shooting away doing that. Um, because ranged characters I always try and set up as kind of snipers a bit, so. Yeah. And let's have a look at my current settlements. So this is obviously a food settlement. And how is my Achaean influence is good. I want to keep that high because that gives me buffs to what I produce depending on my buildings. Um, obviously don't necessarily want to go down some of the other the other buildings and other place some buildings I want to build in my main settlement. I cannot talk today. Hmm. Reduces happiness, which isn't good. Reduces influence. Yeah, but gives extra growth. Lots of food, but reduces growth. I think that. We've got plenty of influence at the moment. I'll keep an eye. I do want to keep my influence up, which isn't always easy. But we are, we've got plenty of influence at the moment, and the growth is good. Growth is always good, especially early on. Um, oh, the other thing I could do is I could... No, I can't build a temple there. For now, I'm going to do that. I'll keep an eye on the growth in the region. We'll get a few more troops out, replenish a bit, and then we will advance on... Cryo... Cranioi. Prepare the victory feast. There we go. I do apologize for my horrific pronunciations. Okay, we, we know how this works. I am gonna go for the food one first because food is becomes very critical in this very fast. So uh, while we've got plenty of food income as I build armies, that is going to reduce a lot and fast. Uh, but we will see how that goes. Hmm. So they're building there and messing around and not building in their main... Oh, they may be building in their main settlement. That's fine. I'm happy to take them out when they land. We'll capture there, then we'll push back down to their main settlement. A shrewd plan. As you contemplate the military campaign that lies before you, your thoughts turn to Troy and its legendary walls, said to have been erected by Poseidon and Apollo themselves. Should you ever find yourself besieging the Trojan capital, you will require more than brute strength to breach the gates. You begin to conceive of a stratagem that might ensure victory with minimal loss. <laughs> that might be Brute strength alone a horse. will not win. Okay, so we've issued the decree, which gave us some buffs. What other this missions? This quick-witted agent may build a safe haven in even the most hostile. Okay, I should have turned that off. To be fair, I don't really need that. So muster troops. We're getting there, and we've um. Okay, don't know why that's still appearing. Anyway, it's time to hit the settlement. Let's... Odysseus, the cunning. No, I don't think I need to do anything with that. We are going to head down here to keep an eye on here. And we are going to go straight into there. Your warriors have reached which the is city. an easy auto, so I'm not fighting it. 
encircling the enemy. And Ooh, and we took his head. There we go. It does take a lot of damage. I straight up just want to occupy here because it's a settlement place. I want to be keeping, so I don't want to be causing too much damage to it. Ooh, I can up some of my ports. First thing first, though. These are light, poor defense, good charge, but they are potentially useful for skirmishing. That works. Can I still build up my main settlement? So this gives us extra food, extra resources, extra growth. That is good. And my, my influence is reducing, so I'm going to need to keep an eye on that. Obviously, Granoi has just been taken, which is going to have issues, but... We'll take out their pipsqueak of an army, and then we are going to sail down to the main settlement, and then we will work out where we are going. Ooh, what's that? I do know at some point soon I am potentially going to get pop-up armies around me for... Because we're going to get missions to capture legendary creatures, which will be very Do not neglect the development cool. of your towns and cities. For many benefits... Okay, so laying foundations, construct any no building. Flourishes. We're doing all that. Thriving settlement. Upgrade to the main building in any settlement. Healthy growth in a province right, leads let's... to the expansion of your cities and an increase in Minimal. the benefits they bring. There we go. Ah, he's already started running home. I don't really blame him. We are going to start sailing straight down. Deserve the truth. Well, a truth. Not so fast. Faster then. No. Okay. Don't want to up that because that'll reduce my influence even more, and I don't want to be messing around with that until I absolutely have to. No, I'm happy with that. Okay, I know all about this already. Who do I want to buff up to start with? Hera. Um, Ares is good. Hephaestus is good. Morale of shielded units. I actually have a lot of shielded units. There we go. The barley is scattered. Now hear my plea. There we go. That gives us a little buff, and obviously if I do a Hetakum, which costs me things, that will increase my overall thing, so... With sacred word increases my relation with him, which actually gives me more from the prayer, so we get extra morale, uh, extra missile resistance, and we can use Armor of the Gods, Divine Will Ability, to do two charges on my army, so we'll have to find out what that does, and obviously I gain all these lovely buffs. I should have probably done the one which gives me growth, but I'm... That's fine. Okay. Let's end turn. He doesn't appear to be building up yet, but I suspect he will start building shortly. And then obviously I'm going to potentially want to start hitting the coastal settlements because I can't do much on inland settlements. Sharp of mind. Consider it done. Murmurs of Sedition. Success! So, I believe calls public order issues. Let's level uh, here up. And obviously, each thing, guys, this we have the administration burden as well, which is a new thing for this. So, the more armies we've got, the more we build, we increase our administration burden. This gives us plus two. I assume there's going to be buildings to help reduce it, but basically... This means things cost more. Um, you know, it's it's what I can do, and as I level it up, it gives me various buffs and things uh, with my administration tier, but let's see. That's cool. So we'll, we'll, we'll play with that more later as we go, but basically it just means I've something else I just need to keep an eye on as time goes on we're going to take their last settlement next turn which should uh and then we are going to work out what we want to do next. oh there 
There we go. Oh, literally appeared right on us. Defeat the following heroes. Lesser Griffin available in my special recruitment pool. It's cool. So for some time, your people, from peasantry to priests, have brought you word of seeming impossible. Live Griffin roaming the skies. Darker rumors also fly of outlanders incorrigibly garb garbed in the skins and nuggets of gold. One-eyed and terrifying in their mastery of the hunt and scouting. For Griffin seems to be their prey. Ooh. Okay, so do I want to go for here first before they build up? I can be most useful. Sickness ends many right, I want to hit here first. Favored by a thief. I can't. God damn it. I don't want to fight this battle. Amrossi. Oh, this is going to be tough. But I have the buff. Here goes. So we did say we will get three of these battles, I believe. One for each of the legendary creatures I'm going to hunt. I'm not sure which I've decided I'm going to hunt yet. But it's probably going to be the griffin because I like griffins. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. Look at this map. It ain't half pretty. Ooh, okay, I want to advance hard there because they are split, which potentially gives me a bit of a bonus anyway. You guys are going to sneak up here. Oh, they are. Okay, they are coming right at me. They have, well, they've got quite a few ranged cavalry with their cyclopean eyes. So these are all cyclopses, aren't they? Yes, that's quite cool. Warriors have spotted hidden foes. Kill them as fast as we can, basically. Give them a buff. One of your units has no more ammunition. Move, move, move. Whoa, stop chasing. Let's start moving and flanking. I want you guys to get your butts over. Ranged, I want there. Let's start flanking round. You can slam in there. Move across a bit more. Oh, you guys can stop moving. You are nice and behind now. You can fly down here and get involved. Nice. That's perfect. Slam into them. They've routed one of my units. That's absolutely fine. Keep shooting there, Lord, please. You guys can try and flank around each side. This is good though, because it's opened them all up to my range beautifully. Good, they are beginning to crumble. Let's get everybody on there. Uh, those last few spearmen, their last few cavalry aren't going to be useful, especially if they're ranged cavalry which keep charging us. And it's over, guys! They are shattered. Perfect. So while they were technically quite a t tough force, we, we outmaneuvered them, but we took losses. Whew. 
and that doesn't put me in the best position for taking the settlement. But, well, we will take the replenishment as normal, and then we will hit the settlement. Shining Odysseus. There we go. And special recruitment. Have insufficient funds. Oh, I don't have enough gold. I need more gold. Odysseus of Ithaca. Cut them down. You may find my dubious skills of use. Outrider. Okay, we're gonna put him in as an outrider for the time being. Bit more movement range. Mm -hmm. No, success action. So success for his actions. See, I'm a little concerned Fills now. Now I can choose to either increase these, which makes the unit the things potentially better, or I can push on. Uh, oh, minus 15% attrition, extra income from raiding, extra looted after battle, I like that. They will pay! Questionable, but effective. So we've got some construction available. Right, let's level here up. And then let's end turn. Most of my missions will be completed naturally as time goes on, guys. So we'll see how that happens. A thriving settlement. Mission successful. There we go. Which is good. No. Our religious level has gone down. I can't do anything else at the moment. Thankfully, the way sieges work in this. Turns until surrender. But I believe they will take will start taking um, attrition no much earlier. Two turns until they start taking attrition. So I'm actually the more bug. than happy to well circle for the for time being. I know. Uh, let us Under sail. head you out this way. Then you can create Wait. some safe havens around the place so we can learn about these guys around us. Whatever oh, else, guys. a meeting with Odysseus <laughs> won't be dull. Anyway, we're obviously going to start getting some settlements around the map soon enough. And we'll see how it goes. Hmm. Yeah, I will take the food. Food is actually a useful thing to have. No. Hold nothing back. One more turn till we start taking a trip. Go at them. That is an expensive unit, but at the same time, it is a griffin. Right. Let us see. Mycenae, 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 my friend! I want some of your gold. I want gold! Hmm. What do I have? Lots of wood. He seems to want wood. Wow, that works really well, actually. That's oh, God damn it! That was there. We go. Exit negotiations. And I don't know if I'll actually be able to recruit it at the moment while I'm sitting here. Bring chaos. Oh, I can. There we go. It's expensive, but got the damage it does. That lesser griffin. It's a thousand damage. Um, not the best health pool, but so it's it's a very glass cannony. But the damage it does is worth is is good. So I'd probably want to be using it as a bit of a flanker there. Um, let's see, bronze feathers. So it's got missile resistance and armor. 
extra armor that's not got much. Flanking attack improves, includes bonus effects. So yeah, it's a flank, it causes fear. And a siege attacker, so it can can go over walls. Send them to Hades. It kind of brought the balance over. I'm happy to let in them Athena's take attrition. Name. I'm in no, there is no need for me to charge over there. So, here we go. We've established a safe haven, and we'll have a look what this can do. Because I said, I have played with these guys, but it was a long, long time ago, so... Nope, I don't want to be messing around with stuff at the moment. Until I need stuff, I'm not messing around with any of these offers and things. In a safe haven, have ensure you have one of the following buildings. Okay. Upgrade the main building of assessment to maximum, and an elite special unit will appear. So, Warrior's Lodge. Ooh, and I can recruit there. That's cool. Influence, casual to replenishment. Let's do for Warriors Lodge. Engage the foe. And now they will start taking attrition. Spill which may force them out to attack me. We shall see. They'll either attack me this turn or in a few turns I will move in and wipe wipe the floor with them because, well, obvious reasons. Yes, I would like the gold because I'm very low on gold at the moment. So that one is actually useful. Resistance is rewarded. There we go. Extra stuff with Kians, Odysseus Schemes, extra growth and ex XP, which is good. The returned. Oh, so we've got an army over here we have to defeat. Uh, he went as a pilgrim hermit, one of the elder priests of Poseidon. From Tanaron Echodos, then returned as one altogether different. Wherever he went, or whenever he went, the people told of how at night, the light of, in the light of torches, his shadow appeared, many limbed and many headed. Around him sometimes burst out screams and brazen clashes, seemingly out of nowhere. Like something half heard, half remembered. There you go, so, uh, Spearmans of Elysium will become available. Cool. I can be most useful. Don't believe and it's an easy auto now, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, Odysseus! And Odysseus kicked his butt, and that gets me my first province. Oh, I did lose a couple of units, though. And straight occupying. And the faction is destroyed. Divine. Let's get a couple more units out and another unit of slingers to increase my ranged. Oops, didn't mean to end turn there. I wanted to look at my building and my missions, but we can do that next turn. That seems good, actually. They'll give me food for several turns. And food... I mean, things have been balanced and tweaked, so we'll see, but food usually is one of those things which is a bit difficult to maintain, but we'll see how it goes. Obviously, a lot of these uh, coastal settlements I want to take over as quickly as possible. Ooh, that's a lot of food. Yes. Basically, I want to rule the coastlines with an iron fist. Okay, so we need to build an altar to the gods. That's fine. I can up level up this settlement. That's what I want to start doing. I can get rid of this one because it's duplicated. And we've got high influence, so a lot of these are worth doing. I need to get rid of this building. It's lowering my influence too much. Okay. Oh, the army's gone. Oh no, it's still there. It's just... <laughs> assassinate him. We did. We assassinated their leader. Interesting. Oh, that's good. Did 
just want to keep upping his success rates, to be honest. Uh, I want to build this army up a bit. We're still good on everything there. Now. That's really good. No, I like that influence because that's going to help maintain regions I capture and bring them in. Bring them into the fold that little bit quicker, which is quite nice. Another royal decree is available. Ooh, so we now got that one. Uh, I want the gold one. To start with, I generally get all the basics done and then we work out where we're moving on from there. Maximum strength, so 20 units in a single army. Uh, upgrade assessment, defeat the army. Issue a commandment. Oh, that's what we need to do. Happiness and growth. So Odysseus has uh, reclaimed Ithaca and the islands of Ithaca fully so that's good that puts us in a good position to start with i am not interested and we need to work out where we are going and poking next guys so please feel free to suggest down in the co comments where we should be going poking i suspect i think i'm gonna go for the local coasts lines first um and work out exactly what where is best for us to go but we should be able to take it all relatively simply obviously that army is going to be an early thing for us to go and take because well we need to uh, other than that guys, I do hope you have been enjoying this and as always, thank you very much for watching. An extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons, uh, Monsters Bound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475 and Coding Monster. Uh, links below to all of that down in the description, but big thank you to them for supporting the channel and an extra special thank you to William Farmer for all of your support. Thank you for that. Other than that, guys, uh, this will be continuing throughout this week, uh, probably dropping one video of this a day, so please stay tuned. And thank you to everybody for watching. Obviously, please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this and want to see more. But thank you to everybody who's watched, liked, commented, subscribed, anything like that. As far as I'm concerned, you are all awesome. Cheers, guys.